Hi, I'm Bjarki Kaikomo. In this video, we're going to be looking at signal flow. Signal flow refers to the way signals travel and are distributed through an audio system, analog or digital. It can be thought of like water running through pipes. Let's start with a microphone, for example, and connect it to a mixer. The first stage is a preamplifier that will boost the rather weak mic signal to a healthier level for the rest of the system. After that comes an insert point, commonly used for dynamics processors like compressors and gates. It'll cut off the signal completely, send it to a device for manipulation, and back to the same point where it continues on to the equalizer for further tone shaping. After the EQ are the auxiliary sends, typically used for reverbs and such. Auxiliary simply means external. The difference between an aux send and an insert is that it doesn't cut off the signal but takes some of it and sends it to a processor, the amount of which is controlled by the send knob. Next is the panorama, or pan control, that sets where in the stereo field the sound will sit from left to right. The last control on a channel is a fader, or volume control, that specifies the amount of signal sent onwards relative to the other channels. The last stage of a mixer is the master fader, where all the signals end up and are mixed together. Let's go back to the aux sends. Each channel has its own send control and together they can be thought of as a mini mixer within the larger one. It's also referred to as a bus. You can therefore send many signals at the same time to an effect and control how much of each one is sent there. From the effects processor, the signal comes back to the mixer via an auxiliary return control, which is the sub-master for the sends, before traveling on for blending at the master bus. These words and logic come from the analog world, but are still applied in the digital realm and work in the same way.